Hello and welcome back to another video. Um, so I went on to a Minecraft Bedrock group and I asked people what their favourite texture packs for Bedrock was. Um, and I did get a quite a few, uh, well not a lot but um, a few small group of varying uh, uh, you know, favourite texture packs. Um, I put mine that, that mine was pure BD craft which we will look at at the end of here. Um, well, anyway, and then we just go to the post. I just got someone else commenting. Um, so there are a lot of ones. So like, um, faithful and uh, nostalgia craft. I've not seen nostalgia craft, and I know what faithful is. Faithful is basically um, uh, is the old textures from like alpha and. Uh, uh, stuff like that. Uh, pure BD Craft, Chroma Hills, uh, um, Pirates of the Caribbean Mashup Pack, which I which I'll have to look that up. But um, I've already spent like ten pounds today on texture pack, so I think that's more than enough. Uh, Matrix texture pack, and I looked that up and I couldn't find one. Chroma, Chroma Hills, um, City, Chroma Hills, City, Natural, which is the one we've got on right now. Uh, medieval one, so it's his second favorite. Uh, toss up between city and Chroma Hills. Uh, texture pack update. Uh, city texture pack. Uh, steam prefer steampunk, natural and fantasy in that order. Uh, the others are cool like Chinese and Greek mythology, which I'll use occasionally. But steampunk is my go-to texture. I use natural. Uh, Pack. I haven't experienced too many others, but I love the HD look it gives. So we're going to look at um, upon uh, the three that I have bought I've, and uh, um, any others that uh, um, have been mentioned that I also have. So this is the natural one, and uh, this is just a world me and uh, um, Jack have made, and. Uh, um, Let's just have a look at this. It's not that far on. Yeah, that that uh, diorite texture's not really changed that much. Um, white and flesh. Uh, this looks like a decent texture pack. Um, what's that clay? Yeah, that looks that does like look fairly realistic. Ooh. I am going to take those arrows though. Um, oh, and it's getting too nice. I'm just gonna go. Sleep quickly. And got the llamas that I had to kill the guy to get. <laughs> Wandering trainer, yeah, trader, yeah. I had to kill him to get them. Uh, and he said that he liked the HD texture of the cows, and it's like. I can't really see that. Like, I'm, I am playing on the Switch, so obviously I have limitations. But there wasn't even like a slider, and it's just like, if I'm not, I'm not a big fan. Like, yes, they look like cows, but I wouldn't really say I love the texture that much. Um, I don't know if that's what wheat wheat actually looks like when it's growing, because I've never grown wheat. Oh, I've got another wandering trade trader. Uh, three emeralds for some kelp. Uh, but five for a bear sapling. One for a lily pad, two lily pads, three for some pack ties, which is actually uh, quite nice, but it's not blue eyes. I should kill them and take them anyway. Um, we're not doing that right now, and you know, sheep. Yeah, I, I do prefer the sunflower though. Like the sunflowers do look a lot better. Um, I'm not. It's not really that my problem. Like it is a nice texture pack, and uh, I might use it sometimes to like change things up, but. It's nothing mind blowing, really, is it? Um, yeah, I have stone down here. Yeah, just nothing really mind blowing. I mean, it doesn't make the house any less ugly. I didn't build this, by the way, Jack built it, so. I'm not a big fan of the glass, like, because, um,. Like this, you can you can tell that yeah, it's for you know four bits of gla glass. I like, I would like it if there was like 
completely see through, so it's like uh, you couldn't tell it was four bits of plastic. Um, you know, just no hard borders. Like that's how, that's how I prefer my glass to to make it look like you know it's all one big thing, but and not individual ones because it's not like you get glass in individual uh, um, meter cube that blocks in real life and then just put them in the place them in a uh, window. Uh, but you know, I don't think any texture packs really do that, so I can't criticize it too much for that. Um, but yeah, on to the next texture pack. Okay, so we have the city texture pack, and I'm not doing these in any real order, I'm just doing them whichever one I feel like doing first, and, um, yeah, I, yeah, I don't like the torches, I don't really get what the torches are supposed to be, is that supposed to be an oven? Oh yeah, because of course it's furnace, isn't it? That's a crafting table, and that's supposed to be that, yeah, well I guess that's a chest, that's a door, oh. and that's a sign, I mean, it is metal, oh the cows just look boring. Um, the Wandering Trader looks pretty much the same because they probably haven't released an update for you because you're... I don't even, Are you experimental gameplay or are you... Are you actually in the game? I think you're experimental gameplay because this world is experimental so... I'm just going to get inside you. Um, again, I do like the Sun Towers more in this just because I don't... I'm not a particularly big fan of the Sun Towers in the normal one. I do not like your face. Um, poppies, eh, they're poppies. And we have gravel over here. It's gravel, you have dirt. Yeah, you can pretty much tell what everything is. Ah, my golden booties look a bit weird. I do like how I have a riot shield though. Um, oh, and I have gunpowder on me apparently, yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm bearing in mind I'm not the biggest person for texture packs. Oh, I do like stone though. It looks like um, proper like concrete that you find in the real world. I do like the stone texture. Yeah, the stone texture is really nice. And um, bearing in mind here, I'm uh, testing in these out. Uh, uh, the whole point of these is to see how. Where did you come from? It's to see how they look in a survival world, and this is a very early survival world. Oh, we have coal up there, which you can see how that looks. But yeah. Not much to say about it, really. Like, to be honest, when I uh, um, asked people what their favourite texture packs were, I thought they'd they change up a bit more than this. I mean, yeah, it does look a bit nicer and also nice flowers. What? Come in. Okay, so just a letter. Nothing overly important. Um, but yeah, I'd imagine it would make it look a bit more different, but everything is fairly recognisable. Like, Nothing's really changed up that much, really. I mean, ooh, I do, I really do like diorite. Like diorite 
does look a lot nicer and because it's just been the texture's been cleaned up a bit um but yeah there's not really that much to it i mean i guess i guess sometimes less is more but i, I wouldn't really say this i would use this oh, oh i've fallen i wouldn't really use this that much i mean <laughs> Oh, it's, it's not a bad texture pack at all, but I don't know. I, I guess I just don't see the appeal, and I'm all out of food, which is great. Um, I have some bread. I can just craft up some. Uh, I have some wheat. I can just craft up some bread. We can see how bread looks in this texture pack, and it's an entire loaf of bread. Yeah, I don't have too much problem with that. Anyway, on to the next one. So this is uh, the medieval texture pack, and yeah, it has changed a lot more. Um, wow, the doors are nearly indistinguishable from the walls, like seriously. Using this texture pack, you could probably hide quite a few things, but yeah, actually, hmm. Oh, I don't like what they did to my floor. Oh, I got a little crown on the kiss. So I didn't even know they could change that. Um, yeah, I. Hmm, I'm not a massive fan of the windows, but the windows do actually look kind of nice. Crafting table, furnaces, chest, yeah, they look all right. Ah, green apples, they remind me of poisonous apples. Uh, spitter's eyes. Rotten flesh are now hands. Oak saplings. Look, I like saplings. Sticks. What is that? Wooden sword. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I, oh, I was getting night time. I need to go to sleep. Yeah, oh, I, yeah, vines look pretty nice. Llamas look like llamas. Not much really change with them. Weeds looks like weeds, the signs look like signs. The cows like cows again and Yeah. And the villager wandering trainer lo trader looks like a wandering trader, probably because he's not in this in an update, so yeah. And the sunflowers look better than the base texture. But it's kind of a bit glitchy with that, those leaves there. That sort should probably be sorted out. But by the looks of this, um, oh, puppies are cute. Uh, again, I'm not really, I'm never really a big fan of the animals in the texture pack. Oh, hang on, I've got there. Um, I'm gonna have to check that out later because I don't know how deep that goes. Um. But yeah, out of the texture packs so, so far, this might actually be one of my favorites. May, maybe it's because I do actually like uh, medieval kind of stuff as well. What's this? This is sand. Yeah, sand. Hmm. I don't know. I'm not like a professional sprite pixel art guy. Yeah, 
Sugar cane looks like bamboo. Um, the trees look like trees. And the coal all looks like stone with a bit of coal in it. The stone, eh, not a big fan of the stone texture. So yeah, this one, oh, some cows have spawned, I'm going to get them into the farm quickly. But yeah, this one is probably one of the best so far, at least, it's my favourite so far. Uh, again, but I've not really liked any of the animals in these. Let's get them in here. And try, try not to let them out. I'll get them in here. And then a bit. 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 There you go. Nah. But yeah, this is looking to be one of my fa this is probably going to be my favourite out of them because, like I said, it actually changes things up quite a bit. Like, you know, the wood, it uh, actually looks almost completely different. And I do like how the doors pretty much match the wall. So if you're not careful and you're just going do 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 do, you wouldn't even notice that that door is there. So, yeah, um, but it would mean that if you're building a building for it to not, you wouldn't need uh, more blob variation than normally because, you know, it will all start just like blending into one. Um, but yeah, let's move on to the next texture pack, shall we? Right, so we are doing the steampunk texture pack now, and I don't, I haven't seen much steampunk, but I yeah, I from what I have seen, it can look really gosh dang cool. And oh, I do love the armor. I am actually quite in love with the armor. Um, is that die? Yeah, yeah, that's die. So that die looks quite cool. Um. Sulfur looks quite cool. Ooh. I actually do quite like the steam. Oh, yes. Alright, these will probably not be good in like like this or in a 2x2. Um, two two. But I think, yeah, I do think I do like the window one. Uh, you could use them as a porthole. And bearing in mind, the reason why I'm uh, using these in a survival world is because... Um, it's not really going to be that much fun if you can only use a texture pack in a world that is specifically built around that texture pack. Um, it's you know, not a big fan of what they did to die right. Um, I do like the chest though. The chest is nice and detailed and fancy. Um, yeah, not much to say about the items. Furnaces, crafting table. Llamas. <laughs> They're wearing those steampunk goggles. Oh, that's cute. What is that? Those are sunflowers. Oh, that is cool. Oh, yeah, I really do like this. The um, sunflowers. Um, the weeds looks like wheat. Yeah, yeah, bam. Oh, mechanical cows. Oh, I am loving this. Okay, I, I, okay, 
I, it's, I'm having a hard time deciding between um, uh, yeah, you're the same. I, I'm having a hard time deciding between um, steampunk and the medieval because I do really like medieval aspe aesthetics. Um, but I am actually quite liking this. This is actually quite cool and creative. Oh, ho, ho. oh, he's got a little mustache. Okay, yeah, this is definitely my new fav favorite um, so far. Um, let's see. Oh, oh, mechanical horse. Like the neck is a. Oh no, I thought that was glitch, but no. Oh, that is actually quite cool. I don't know where that sheep came from, though. It wasn't there a second ago, was it? I don't know. Um, this is bread, apparently. Yeah, it looks like an uh, ingot. An ingot of bread. Yeah. Not a massive fan of what they did to the stone, but... I am quite liking everything else I'm seeing so far. Oh! And a pumpkin grew. And this is what a pumpkin looks like. That's cool. Got some gravel. Some sugar cane. Which again looks a bit like bamboo. Oh, I got a pig. Which is all because I usually kill all the pigs. Yeah, he's got a young mastodon. I can't really ask to go all the way up there. Um, see coal up there. The coal looks fairly similar in a lot of the texture packs I've uh, seen so far. Um, creep hole looks like a creep hole. But yeah, I do actually quite like this texture pack because it is... Um, well, just look at the chest. It, is it has a lot of detail on just to the chest alone, and it is quite creative, like giving and giving the animals like different uh, stuff to wear. Um, so yeah, I actually do quite like this one. Um, so oh, and the beds. Oh, yeah, the beds. I do, I do, I do like the beds. So on to the next one, shall we? Okay, so we're doing fantasy, and it's about now that I'm, it's starting to become hard to hard remembering what I have and haven't done. Um, oh, gold! I do love gold, so this is starting off on a good foot because I love gold, just like the color gold. So the fact that there's gold here on the beds, gold doors, gold torches. Gold chest, gold window. I love gold. Gold, 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 gold. Oh no, no, you're not gold. And the gold has stopped. Well, they didn't even make the wheat golden. Um, we have cows. They look like cows. We have sheep that look like they're made out of clouds, like. Seriously, does that not look like it's cloud? You, well, you can't see the best because I, my capture card's not that good with catching capturing audio. So, oh, hey, watch this. Yeah, now you see me. Come on, let's get a good look at you, Mister Drowned. Ow. Yeah, I, oh, that, that is actually quite cool looking. Actually, oh, don't want to step in the water. Hello. Okay, you can go ahead and die now. Uh, 
And oh, the sugar cane looks like vanilla sugar cane. That's all right. Ooh, I do actually like the sword though. My sword does like look quite cool. I can swing my sword, sword. It's not diamond, it's just stone though. And I can't brew any potions. Oh, gravel. Yeah, that actually looks like a gravel in real life. Again, sunflowers, they're just better than vanilla. Like, I think they could have probably done the worst um, texture for sunflowers that they could have done while making them look like sunflowers. Stone looks all right. Like, no complaints with stone. Horses, have they even been changed, to be honest? Like, seriously, I can't tell if they've been changed. Um, same with donkey. Holy shit, that is fucking terrifying. Oh, look at this creeper. Hey, Mr. Creeper. Ah, oh, crap. I need to eat. I nom 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 nom. I nom 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 nom. I nom 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 nom. Creepers look like creepers. Yeah, I'm gonna kill this cow because I've got plenty of cows. I think any lever. But yeah, everything. Yeah, this is actually one of my more. I do actually quite like this one fantasy. And I think this one you can you actually get free if you bought um, the con the um, console edition. So like I bought uh, Switch before uh, Minecraft Bedrock came out, so I think I got this for free. Technically free. Um, oh yeah, I do like the flowers. The flowers are quite nice. The tree looks nice. But yeah, I do love the fact that just gold. I love gold. I, this is no joke. I do. I, the gold is legitimately my favorite color. It uh, just looks so good. I, and yeah, I do right. Um, oh, oh, and they didn't change diorite. That diorite actually looks all right. I mean, diorite is basically the poor man's uh, never quartz, and yeah, it's pretty much stays uh, true to that. Um, oh, yeah. So everything looks pretty good. Um, what about my armor? The armor, eh? Take it or leave. I could take it or leave it to be honest. Uh, you can see the coal up there. Was that was that cool? Hold on. I can't tell if that's coal or not. I mean, it should be coal because nothing else spawns at this level. But it looks a bit silver. Yeah, it, it is coal, but there is a lot of white in it. Strangely enough, I guess that's supposed to be like light reflecting off it. Oh, that. There's just a bunch of coal here that I didn't even notice. Uh, oh, and sea grass. And a llama. But yeah, whenever I play a texture pack, I've never really cared much about how they change the animals or mobs because they usually stay, stay relatively the same. Um. Chests. Eh, there's not. They didn't really add that much gold to it. To a lot of stuff. Uh, there should be the, just like the gold texture pack where, the, where everything is just gold. Like trees are gold. Wood, wood is gold. Gold here. Gold there. Gold everywhere. Like just slap gold and mix it in with every block. Like somebody make the gold texture pack and call it. I love gold. Duh. With all the yo's. Anyway, on to the next texture pack.
Anyway, now, we are get, I'm going to do the Chinese and Greek mythology mashup pack. First we're doing it because they were an honourable mention in one of the comments. So, here is the Chinese mythology pack, mashup pack. Well, I do like the dragons. And GOLD! Well, I do like the doors. I do wish they were curtains though. Uh, or, um, not curtains, the, um, paper sliding doors. And like, when you open them, instead of flipping outwards, they would slide in. Or something like that. Um, that would be cool. More gold everywhere. I do love gold. I I so red and gold is a really nice combination. Not the best combination, but I do like red and gold. Mind you, the best combination is probably um, black with a bit of purple. Like that, that is a really nice combination. Now, ooh, golden torches. I do. I I actually do quite like this. I mean. This isn't the best build ever because we just we we've literally just built this in like a few minutes, like oh about the course of two nights, and uh, I got uh, a bed so we could sleep through the rest of the night. So a couple nights, you know, sunflowers, you know, always better. I don't know if you can hear the music, but I do like the music. Uh, 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 I'm sorry. I, I don't know what to say about this because I don't know what this inspires. Like, I do love Japanese culture and I do watch um, Gaijin Goomba. Oh, I'm going to break this and I'm going to move it so it doesn't hinder the um, efficiency of the farm. But yeah. Um, I don't know what that's inspired by, like, there's probably, if you love Japanese culture, you're probably, uh, well, Chinese, sorry, not Japanese, if you're gonna, if you love Chinese culture, then you're probably gonna get a lot more references than I am here, but, I do know a bit about Chinese and Japanese culture, but not a lot, because I have learned a bit from watching Gaijin Goomba. Ooh, I do, I do like this stone, though. Like this stone is quite nice, and the sunflower is always nice. <laughs> like I've not seen a tasty pack where I don't. Oh, hello, Jap uh, Chinese creeper. Oh shit! Oh, I have a katana. Ha <laughs> ha! What? What is going on with you, Mister Horse? Okay. That's not a skeleton horse, is it? No, but... It loves me. Oh, I love the chickens. They look like parrots, to be honest. I really... Oh, the sun looks cool as well. I forget they changed the sun as well in texture packs. Um, the sheep look cool. I do love this music, like this music is really cool. Man, they, someone needs to make an 80s pack and just fill it with like 80s music and just like, um, we will, we will rock you, yeah, 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 yeah. Man, you, um, anybody using it and recording a video with it would probably get um, copyright struck and Heck, I might get copy, a copyright strike just for saying that one verse. What is this? I don't know what it is, but I like it. What is it? Ansterite. It doesn't look like shit. It actually looks really nice. Um, coal? Eh. Yeah. Uh, I can take it or leave it. To be honest. Um, so I better get in and sleep before, um, creepers, 
spawn and blow up everything. My friend would not be happy about that. Well, yeah, a bit of gold, which, I, again, gold is always a positive. Like, gold, gold, gold. Gold. Actually, what does a single chest look like? Hold on. Do I have enough? I have enough wood. Um, that's a furnace. That's another thing. Oh, yeah, and, uh, and a single chest just looks like, just looks pretty much the same. Oh, I didn't want to put that in there. But, yeah. Eh, pretty much the same. Just smaller. Um, so yeah, let's move on to the Greek mythology mashup pack. Okay, so this is Greek mythology mashup pack. Uh, starting off in here, gold! Again, anything that is, begins with gold is a good. I do like these doors. Glass, eh. Not a big fan. Wood, eh. Take it or leave it, I could. Um. Oh, I, I, that, that does actually look quite nice. The chests look nice. The furnaces look a little bit weird. And the crafting table looks like a crafting table. But let's take a look outside. Yeah, the signs do blend in with the wood, but that's probably because they're a golden llama. I'm happy. Oh, shoot. Get, get away from me, get away from me. Oh, you dropped a carrot. I'm gonna take that. Carrot. I'm gonna go plant it. Pumpkins have turned golden, which are, again, golden voice. Nice. Sugar cane. Yeah, that looks like sugar cane, I guess. Cows look like they've been tattooed. Pig. Yeah, I have no problems with the pig. It, it's, it looks like tattooed, but I'm not overly fussed. Again, I, re I really just don't care that much about the animals in the texture pack. Because in Minecraft you're not really interacting with the animals too much. Like hostile mobs, you could argue interact with them more. But not really. Oh, sand looks quite nice. And stone. Eh, yeah, again, I could. I know that's gravel. Why did I think that was stone? You know, that's stone there. Yeah. Yeah. Stone looks alright. Like, it looks like a grey polished marble. We have golden sheep. And again, I love gold! Da -da. Hmm. Oh, I got an egg now. Uh, armor, yeah. Again, I could take the take it or leave of the armor. But yeah, this does actually look quite nice. I don't know why the trees always they always do the trees. I guess I guess it's to, to look more realistic, but. I don't know, I'm just not a, a big fan of this, of it. Um, but yeah. 
This does actually look quite nice, and I forgot about the coal ore. Let's go look at the coal ore quickly. Yeah, I forgot to sprint. Oh no, I'm hungry, that's why I didn't sprint. And coal ore. Yeah, it's all. I'm ashamed now because, uh, you know, somebody would say, but I wanted to see the coal ore in the Greek mythology mashup pack. Anyway, on to the next one. Which I do believe is Chroma Hills. And this next texture pack we're looking at um, is called Chroma Hills. And it crashed me! Well, Minecraft twice! So it's be this better be good. Oh. Okay, I am liking it so far. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Yeah. Um. Wow, this is nice. Yeah. Ooh, it is quite nice. There's not really much more I can say. It just looks nice. I mean, what more do you want me to say? Yeah, There's a pumpkin. The pumpkin looks nice. The cows look like cows. And again, I really don't care about animals and texture packs. It's changed the font for the stuff to a nice one, I guess. My armor looks alright, I guess. Some flowers look like look better than that they do in vanilla Minecraft. Like gravel. Yeah, that looks like gravel. Sand looks like sand. I mean, it's not my, it's nothing like really good, but it is quite nice. Like, it is very clear. No, just no. Right, so let me, let me just talk here. Something I really hate when texture packs uh, try is to, to put realistic faces on the animals. It just gives me nightmares. Like, eh, it's not too bad with the horse because you can't really see the entire face at one time, I mean. But, you know, just trying to put a realistic face on, say, a pig in Minecraft does not look nice because it does not look good. Like, yeah, look, that's not a realistic pig face. It looks infinitely better because you're, it's trying to look realistic and it's trying to trick your mind into thinking it's surreal. But your mind just knows that it's not. And it, uh, it just hits your brain and makes you have nightmares. So please, texture pack creators, stop trying to make everything look realistic. Because it just hits, yeah, where? It just hits my brain. Sugar cane. Yeah, that's sugar cane. Coal. Yeah, it looks nice. 
everything just looks really nice and while it's not my favorite I can definitely see why people do like this it is a really nice texture pack I, and uh, the, if you like what you're seeing I would definitely suggest picking this up um, it just it does look nice I think this was one of the more expensive ones so um, if I remember correctly so yeah Um, yeah, you just uh, apparently that's what's in flash. I don't see it myself, but hey ho. Um, yeah, what's empty locator map? Okay, and we have dirt. Well, on to the next texture pack, then. Hopefully, this one won't crash me twice. Okay, so this is a pure BD craft, and it is one of my favorite uh, um, texture packs. And that's, uh, it is actually the first texture pack I ever bought to play survival with, and it just looks nice. Like um, pure BD craft is also known as Fax, which it was the best, uh, well, most downloaded uh, um, texture pack in Java. And it, you can see why, it just looks nice. It's not overly designed, it's not overly complicated. It's just nice, simple to look at. You can easily tell where everything is. You know, got woolly cows. You've got uh, sugar cane. You, know, you can tell exactly where everything is, and everything looks really nice. Um, pigs, you know, like I said, they, they look nice because they're not trying really hard to be super realistic. They're just, you know, Minecraft pigs. Sand looks nice. Gravel, one, some of the best gravel I've ever seen. Um, and it's keeping to the vanilla texture. Sunflowers, always better than the vanilla texture, pretty much. Stone, really nice. Oh, that's still shit, though. Sheep. Not trying too hard to be realistic, but still it's kind of realistic, and it actually does it quite well, because it, it's just in the right area of, like, not trying to be too realistic, but uh, still being a little bit realistic. Um, and it just looks nice. It, and it is oh, my favorite texture pack of all time. Even still, even out of all the texture packs I've just looked at, this is still my favorite out of all of them. And just because of that pure fact that it is simple. While, you know, something can look uh, really nice with a lot of detail and changing everything up quite a bit just like keeping it nice and simple and it uh, you know just like this it is just nice and it, there is a reason why it is the most downloaded texture pack in uh, on java which again java has the most textures out of java and bedrock and it uh, 
Hexagons. Hexagons are nice. Like, I don't know why they haven't changed the cursor. Also, if you go into creative, you will find that, um, spawn eggs have turned into Pokeballs. Also, egg. Looks nice. Yeah, everything just looks really nice. Oh, and I haven't seen the crossbow in this, um, texture pack yet, but yeah, crossbow. Looks nice. Everything just looks really nice and clean. And, um, the glass. Well, it's, uh, like I said, it's it's uh, not completely clear, like I would prefer it's to, like, um, a bit like um, a value block. It is still quite nice, and even with the hard borders. Um, but somebody, like, somebody figure out a way to get connected textures onto Bedrock, because I would love that. Right, so, we're going to look at one last uh, um, texture pack, and that, uh, and the, the, this, is, this hasn't been... Um, c commented on the, the um, on the, the question, but it's one I already had because I use it for redstone, and it, it does look quite, uh, and it is a quite nice one, and it is technically the first uh, text pack I downloaded and bought. So, let's have a look at that quickly. Okay, so now we're looking at the plastic text pack, and uh, um, I mentioned that I do have this, and I uh, before this video did have this before this video, and that uh, um, I, I and that uh, yeah, be, and I basically use it for redstone, and that's pretty much it. And I'll get to explaining why, but it is like right. Let's talk about this quickly. It is very simple, and like I said with the pure BD craft, um, simple is quite nice. Um, simple, you know, not overly complicated, you know, and sometimes less is more. But the reason why I pretty much only use this for redstone is because it's too simple. Where pure BD craft is basically in the sweet spot of simple but not too simple. The plastic texture pack, at least in my opinion, is too simple and my eyes just get tired looking at it. Uh, but the reason why I do use it for redstone is because it's simple and it's easy to tell where a block ends and begins. And, uh, um,. And that is really nice with redstone because it's like, okay, so I know where this redstone line is going, I know where it's ending, I know all this and that and this and that, but it's, other than that, my, my eyes just get bored looking at it, like, um, with stone. Um, if I go, go back over here, there was a cave over here. Some caves over here. Going in, going in. This is all you see. You're just like wandering up and through here, your eyes just get tired and bored. And uh, um, and sure, it, they they would eventually get bored with even with more complicated textures, but with uh, these dull flat textures, that it just gets boring even quicker and. Sure, it, it does look nice, but it just, it, my eyes just get tired of it after a while. Also, I just realised Jack left that floating tree there, and that's probably been driving people crazy. And I can't be bothered to get rid of it because I'm lazy. Um, yeah, because he planted a bunch of trees to build the house. And it's, just, like I said, it just, my eyes just get tired. I was like, yeah, that, that's a flat, boring texture. That's another flat, boring texture. That's a flat, boring texture with some dots on it. 
And like I said, while it is a great texture pack for doing redstone uh, and pixel art, anything else, it just makes my eyes tired after a while. And also, they, they put dots on everything, like dot, dot. There's dots on there, there's dots on there, there's not dots on there, but there's dots on there. Dots on there. Why, why, why is there dots everywhere? Like, yeah, the torches tapes already always had dots on them, but it's just like they, they like to add dots everywhere, almost everywhere. And the glass is is a nice like the glass would tie with pure BD crafts uh, glass uh, for the best glass in uh, any texture pack. For a random dot. Why why is it that random dot? That random dot. That one random dot does quite uh, annoying me. Like if that random dot wasn't there. This will be the best glass in all of Minecraft. But yeah, that's why I don't particularly like using uh, um, the plastic texture pack in a survival uh, um, world. It's because my eyes just get tired of it after a little while. And sure, it is uh, alright uh, for a few minutes. I but if you're going for a lot longer gaming session, I wouldn't really suggest um, using this. Um, so let's quickly jump into an overview of all these then. So, um, let's have a look at the texture packs quickly and to just to give my quick opinion of them. Plastic texture pack. Boring. Steampunk texture pack. Actually one of the better ones and I would definitely use that um, in a survival aspect. Chroma Hills, after it crashed me, crashed the game a couple of times, it did look quite nice so I definitely used that. As well as a medieval texture pack. It didn't crash me but it does look quite nice. Didn't look at pattern. Um, the texture pack with the yellow we didn't look at it, it is actually I do actually like a good few of the new textures. Just quickly gonna mention that. Didn't look at Greek mythology was nice. Um, but I don't know if I use it in the survival aspect all that much. Um didn't look at cartoon, didn't look at uh, sweet. City texture pack, yeah, it was alright, but yeah, not overly fussed about it. Fantasy texture pack was actually quite nice, um, and I would probably use that in the survival aspect if I if I really wanted to. Uh, natural yeah, I kind of like that. I would definitely use that as well as Chinese. Um, and we haven't looked at vanilla BD craft, but we have looked at pure BD craft. And like I said, it's still my favorite texture pack of them all. Um, but apart from pure BD craft, I think um, I think my second favorite would probably be I don't know, maybe steampunk or medieval. I don't know about Chroma Hills, I don't know where I would put that, but um, something I will say is that um, if it's at all possible we need to be able to get um, 128 times resolution on the Nintendo Switch. Why? Why? why does it have enough memory? I don't know, what, can we sort that out? Is that something they can sort out? Like, I want to have really nice Chroma Hills, like then maybe it might make my my bit my t um, overthrow steampunk and the medieval for my favorite texture packs. But anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.